Hello and welcome. This is World of Tanks, and I will be showing you a replay where I drive the T-150 Russian tank tier 6. And these are the armor stats. 100 millimeters in the front. And now it's important because, um, for instance, uh, my gun um, penetrates uh, 167 millimeters of armor and so I can theoretically get uh, penetrate and do 300 damage to other tanks that have um, 167 millimeters of armor or fewer millimeters of armor so um, <clears throat> It's a game where it's 15 on 15. All of these players are human players. Um, you can see their stats. Uh, for instance, I've played... Let's see. I have played 8,000 games. Uh, the colors have significance. Red players are not good. For instance, if you look below Corrupted Arena on the left, you see Dark Dask Invader. He has a, he has a bad um, uh, rating. Of 139, that's bad. Um, some of the people that I'm playing against are actually clan mates. Uh, so this is an interesting battle. Um, and but nonetheless, we are very competitive. But moving on, um, if you look at the map, <clears throat> we start here, right? Usually, light tanks and medium tanks go here. It's more maneuverable. Uh, it's for more maneuverable tanks and tanks that get sniped farther. Heavy tanks have inaccurate guns, they're very powerful, but they use the city to amplify the effects of their armor, which I will be demonstrating once we get there. So, we get there. I'm not going to show you the full entirety of this, book, of this video. We, I do win. My team wins. Although it's a very frustrating win. Uh, already the first uh, tank has been spotted there by that M5A1 Stewart. Scouts tend to uh, um, move ahead they're very quick since they're very quick they're hard to hit see now he has spotted all of these tanks but the danger of trying to spot for our team is if you do it early on in a poor way you'll die like that so that's not a good way to scout what he should have done is just went up this line go back and forth you know try to use the cover here bushes you can hide behind bushes tanks won't see you uh, and so we've already lost two they've lost one I'm just, uh, you know, moving my way to the to the town. Um, <clears throat> and uh, that's a mark of excellence. That little uh, star on the turret gun. Not on the turret, but the gun itself. It means I do more damage on average than 65% of players that play the game. Um, so I have a good amount of experience in this tank. And I will be showing you maneuvers that... Um, experienced tank players use. Now, paused, because um, if you look at the map, there's a mechanic called spotting by proximity. These two tanks are within my 50 meters of range, so I don't see them technically, but because of the mechanic of uh, being able to spot anything within 50 meters, I know they're there. And so what I proceed to do is I'm going to try to get my uh, gun aimed at him, for instance. And so I'm, I'm going to put it to fixed camera mode to show you how I'm actually aiming. And so I'm looking around the corner. Um, that KV-1S is an experienced player. Um, he's purple. That means he's very good. The Cromwell's not a good player, and the T1, T14 is a good player. Is not a good player. Therefore, I'm going to try to um, ignore them. I shoot them to try to ward them off. My real target is that KV-1S to the left, the purple player. If you see the, if you see his, if under his name there's a purple star, that means really good. I want to get rid of him first, because he's the bigger threat. Now he's afraid of my gun because I could potentially uh, one shot kill him. And uh, the reason why I'm able to um, bounce shells off my armor, uh, so I go in for the kill there. The reason why there's a 317 and a 13 means that I set his engine on fire, uh, killing him. And so. <clears throat> I'm going to pause. I'm going to um, exit this mode. Now, 
Um, let's see. So I shoot him. I the the thing is is that the way he, that T14 left, if you look, his armor's flat to us. Mine was slightly are angled like this. So if you angle your armor to where they're shooting kind of at a 45 degree angle, um, it's more likely to bounce. So I'm gonna um, go back to fix camera. Now there's a technique called side scraping, which I'm doing. And so, do you, so if you noticed, um, that Karma shot at us, but ricocheted. I'm going to show you why that happened. Um, for instance, so he's shooting from that tank right there, right? And so if, if he's looking at this tank right here, right? That's all he's going to see. Now, if you pay attention, he cannot shoot the front. The front would be the most vulnerable. If he hits the side of my tank because of the angle that it has, it's going to bounce off since... Um, if you if you um because of the geometry because of the angle he's shooting at it's just gonna bounce right out right off um and so that's why I'm able to bounce that's why I angled my tank here so they wouldn't shoot at the front and if they hit my uh the hull it would just bounce off i'm I'm gonna unpause it and then uh keep it to where how uh, um this is how it was in game so I'm gonna side scrape again I'm gonna try to um bait them to shoot at me. Um, he missed. I don't even know if he shot at me. So I'm just gonna stay. See, it bounced. That one's that one's coming this way. He does no damage to me because his gun is not high enough caliber to damage me. But my friend finishes me off. Now, it, it, in that instance, that it was very quick. What happened? In that instance, I was able to get off nine hits and do 2,219 damage. Um, I was able to kill four tanks. And it doesn't seem like much, but, um, so this is my uh, platoon mate. Um, we end up winning the match, but it was a very frustrating match to watch. But, um, in those quick, uh, two minutes or so, oh, yeah, it was two minutes of action, really. Um, uh, let's see, can I move to a different player? Um, no, but, um, <clears throat> let's just, uh, um, let's see, how do I, how do I end this? So, um, I'm going to show you the post-game stats of how significant that was, because, you know, to new players, it's like, oh, you killed four, you damaged 2,200, how important is that? Um, <clears throat> let's look, yes, I accept, whatever. Um, all right, so look at this tank. So this is the tank I was using. Uh, if we go here, if we look at replays manager, and then we go to highway random battle, show results. Um, so I did high caliber, which means cause the highest damage for battle. Uh, so I did the most damage, and I my damage cause was more than 20% of the total HP of the enemy vehicles, meaning I killed one-fifth of, uh, I did one-fifth of the damage. I did 2,200 in those two minutes with effective armor, um, effective use of armor to, uh, make bounce, rick make shots ricochet off of my tank, and I aimed for weak spots. Um, basically, I aimed for flatter surfaces rather than surfaces that are at an angle. And so that's why I was able to penetrate easy, more easily. And so I did a lot of damage considering the second person did 1,400, which was 800 fewer points of damage. And this person did practically half the damage I did. I did die early, but my damage was significant enough to where even the really poor players on our team, which were uh, this and below right here, um, to where uh, those guys were able to win just because of the sheer amount of damage I did and destruction, considering their players were significantly better because they were able to... I mean, up here they're not as good, but down here they're way better. <clears throat> uh, but anyways, and then uh, if you play well, uh, you get more credits, you get more money. And you get a more experience. And um, I blocked. Okay, so this tank. Um, here, I'll put this down. I'll put this down. 
This tank has 980 hit points right here. If you look at my hand, I blocked a total of 965, right? So basically, because of how I angled my armor, okay, so, okay, for instance, I'm at 100 millimeters in the front, right? If you shoot right here straight flush, that's 100 uh, millimeters of armor thickness effective. If I'm like this and you hit, try to hit the front, it's around 150 to 160 millimeters. And if you can only hit this side right here at this angle, but you can't hit the front. The front would be vulnerable. But the but let's say the building was like this, right? The building was practically covering this section. And I was shooting at an angle so that um, the enemy can only hit this part. No matter what caliber or gun you're using, pretty much, if you hit any tank at this extreme angle, it'll just bounce off. Either that or the tracks will take the damage, and you won't take any hit points of damage, but it'll just bounce off. So, I was able to use my armor very effectively by bouncing more damage than my hit points are totaled. And I dealt more than twice my HP in damage. So this was a very good battle. Um, it's not like super, super like uh, MLG Pro good. But it's um, one of the better, one of my better um, match matches where every single one of my shots mattered. I hit, I shot nine, I hit nine, and... Uh, I'm pretty sure, did I penetrate all nine of them? No, I did not penetrate one of them just because of the angle he was shooting at. I was shooting at him. Basically, he was backing up, but by the time I was able to shoot at him, he was at an angle to where my shot would just bounce off of his front if you if you were to look rewind closely. But anyways, this, this was the first video of World of Tanks. I have more entertaining videos of... Uh, um, good matches like this, so stay tuned for more, and I will try to explain the mechanics of how the game works, little by little, over time. And, I hope you guys enjoyed, stay tuned for more.